Hey everybody, what's going on? Dace here, and today we are taking a look at the guide video that I uh, put together for Rolling Gunner. Not the DLC Overpower, this is for like just the base game, uh, and this is for original mode. So, who is this f guide for? Uh, I, I would say, like if it was up to me, um, I would have everyone play rolling gunner like whoever is actually playing in the game anyway i would have you tackle as much of the game as possible and like pretty much push yourself into it like just be in the game immerse yourself do as much figuring out on your own as you possibly can because this game is so incredibly good it's so masterfully crafted that you're doing yourself a disservice by not Putting that time and energy into it okay so like more or less wait until you're at your wits end and if you just need like one or two little things to kind of like um just like transform the run or just like overcome that like thing then yeah sure jump in make use of it um but like that's kind of like just where i'm coming from with it like i just i love the game so I really, I strongly encourage everyone to just do as much of the, the exploration as they possibly can, uh, first and foremost. Um, so that's like probably like more than anything else that the actual guide will sh reveal. That's probably the most important thing. The most important takeaway from this whole video is just like immerse yourself in the journey and just explore it because it's, it's so incredibly rewarding. I cannot stress that enough. Um, so yeah, anyway, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, I have very little time invested and experience with original compared to expert mode. I think expert mode is like eight times the hours and experience, uh, or probably 10 times, 10 times the amount at this point. Um, so what I've done here, instead of going back to original mode and like actually playing and figuring everything out uh, specifically for that mode, I kind of just took what I uh, built for expert mode and applied it where I could in original mode. There are situations where things you can get away with in expert mode will not work in original mode uh, for one reason or another. Sometimes it's like the timing of a hyper because you have tons of uh like recharge potential with metals and stuff in expert mode it's like okay well in original it's not as um like there just isn't as much uh refill potential because things are not as crazy there aren't as many projectiles on screen or whatever the case is uh i know for instance from what i can tell anyway and i'll probably mention this again in the uh, stage five video uh the safe spot for the final attack that the mid, mid boss does you you can get away with that in expert mode of course but in original mode that does not work so things like that needed to be tweaked a little bit here and there so for the most part it's even though this may feel or look like uh, an in-depth uh, guide to one degree or another it is pretty slapped together um but again, that was just because it's like I have way, way more experience with expert mode and I was just kind of seeing like what's going to make sense to like kind of just like put that down over or original mode. And, uh, and that way I don't need to like invest a ton of time playing a mode that I don't actually really want to be putting my time into right now because I'm still um, playing expert and loving expert mode. So that's kind of like what we're doing here. That being said, this is a segmented run, if I didn't mention that already. Uh, another reason, like, like there was no purpose for me to, like, again, figure things out, play this perfect run just so you can see how to, like, oh, no miss, no bomb, like, 99% of the game. It's like, that's not important for a guide. What's important is seeing the method, seeing the approach, and hearing the, like, just the explanation for each step of the way. So what I did for, so you will see uh, some like edit jumps here and there. Like if I had a, a great um, like stage, but fumbled something at the like boss of that stage, um, I, I, I just redid the boss specifically and then attached that portion. Uh, so you'll see little skips and things like that. But what I did ensure that I do uh, 
pretty much every step of the way is uh, make sure like I put my bomb count, life count, um, energy, all to what it would have been going into that. Uh, just so you have an idea of like, okay, where is rank going to be by the time I get to the final boss or whatever. Uh, another thing, even, like for those who uh, know my approach for expert mode, I was not keeping rank low because I just I didn't want to be held back. I wanted to just be able to enjoy the mechanics and just the awesomeness that this game offers. Uh, but for this guide specifically, I strive to keep rank as low as possible. Uh, so for the first like two, three stages or whatever, there like there's really nothing going on. Uh, so that ke keeps projectiles slower, of course, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so I just want to mention that. Um, just in terms of time frame, uh, when I was figuring out original mode, uh, just yeah, I'm not sure when it was like a couple months ago when I started or something like that. Or more than that, because I was in expert mode for like two months uh, before I cleared it the first time. But original mode took about two weeks to figure out. That's not really relevant because everyone's going to have a different experience. But that's just to say, like the the figuring out. That's like the figuring out of the like the stages and how everything worked. That took me two weeks. One thing that I will say, though, is I was applying a limitation on how I tackled it. So even if you weren't using this guide, you might clear it faster without doing what I did. So what I did when I was tackling original mode was I didn't resort to using the correct shot type. Uh, pretty much 99% of the time, I'm like I was just using the focus shot, which is like... So if you're, for those unfamiliar, there are certain enemies where if you use focus shot, you're going to get the maximum amount of uh, metals possible. And if you use focus shot on tiny enemies, it's it, like that's not the correct shot type. You would want to switch to non-focused shot uh, for tiny enemies, and that way you get the uh, like the best possible um, income, for lack of a better word, uh, worth of metals. Uh, so I was not doing any of that. I was just using focus shot, uh, positioning myself, lining up with like whatever locked on position uh, for wherever enemies would be filtering in and that sort of thing. It was a very, um, yeah, like it was a, a pretty limiting approach, but that's just how I wanted to do it. Um, so you might be able to clear original mode much, much faster uh, than that. Um, but yeah, that's just to say like, uh, a lot of time can go into figuring things out, but when you're seeing a guide and you're kind of just seeing what to do, it can come a lot faster. But I do strongly, like I said earlier, I do strongly recommend and encourage and just fully promote doing as much of this as you can. So like if you are on board with figuring things out on your own, don't even bother watching this video. Please go and play Rolling Gunner. Have a wicked time experimenting because that's what it's all about in my opinion. Uh, this game is just so good. Please go and do that. Um, so yeah. Anyway, a lot of the time you'll see people using the blue ship, which is the fastest. Uh, I used to always use blue ship when I first got the game like a couple years back. Uh, and it's awesome. And there are some great things you can do like circling enemies uh, or like bosses or mid bosses and avoiding their attacks. And that way you're like constantly just doing super close range, close range damage. Uh, you can still do most of that stuff with the red ship uh, but you just got to be a little more careful with specific moments um, I think the only other thing like I really want to mention with bringing the the ships up uh, I don't have any experience with like the yellow one uh, the reason I switched to red when I started uh, getting back into the game this time around uh, was I I felt like the blue ship was a little too unstable. It was a little too fast. Uh, I don't feel you actually need the fastest ship. Well, obviously you don't because uh, that's what I used for original and expert. Uh, but there was just something about the red ship that just felt way more stable, uh, less overshooting movement. Um, and I just felt like there's just that much more control or I feel there's just that much more control uh, compared to when I used the blue ship. Um, I might 
ex re like I might go back to the blue ship and experiment and stuff like that. We'll see. But I'm just I'm loving the red ship. It's awesome. It's been amazing playing with that. Uh, so even though you might see clears of like everyone using the blue ship, you can do just fine with the red ship too. Uh, maybe someday I'll even experiment with the yellow ship, but it, it feels super, super slow. So uh, that would definitely take some getting used to. Um, I think that is everything that I wanted to mention. Um, I'm just looking over my list of notes here. Yeah, so like, uh, I think just to clarify what I mentioned earlier there. Yeah, there are just certain times where... If you've seen how I approach things in expert mode, uh, it will look different here. The, some of the things will be like slightly delayed, or I might just stop attacking an enemy until my gauge has almost run out, just so that you ensure you are soaking up metals where you can. Uh, because you cannot depend on the same quantity of projectiles like an expert. And if you are kind of just not paying attention to that stuff in original mode specifically, that can very, very quickly get you in trouble. So anyway, I'll touch on all of those moments in the levels. With everything out of the way, let's get right into this guide. Thank you for listening to this uh, whole ramble. And yeah, let's just do this. Okay, so let's start with stage one. Um, there are a few sections here and there for the most part, stage one and two are pretty straightforward, so there won't be too much in the way of slow motion, but there are a few sections where I do slow motion, and as we get into like stage three, four, five, and six, um, there will be more of that, just because there's a lot more information that I want to convey, so I need the time to say that, and also just the time to kind of make sense of that visually by slowing things down. Um, also, the approach I'm using for this is keeping rank as low as possible because I feel for most people that's just going to be the safest way to kind of just like get a grasp on the game. So I'm not hypering during this guy. As you could see, I uh, just lured that first attack to the top and then dropped below it. And then you just kind of inch away for finishing up this mid boss. And then you're just continuing on as normal. And then here we are at the stage end boss already. So pretty straightforward stuff you just again like it this guide is not going to like it's going to give you information but it's not going to give you the experience so like you'll just need to figure things out a little bit too of course um and of course the way i do things may not be the way you want to do it and that's totally fine um but yeah just like learn where you can lure things away and just how to kind of like go in and in between things and the timing of different layers of those attacks as well that's important too and then of course just uh, like you could easily hyper here and then use the second layer of that hyper or bomb if you need to or whatever you want to do um, again I'm just like intentionally keeping rank at zero for as long as possible <clears throat> By the way, this is a segmented run. Um, there was no, really no reason for me to like do like a perfect no bomb, no miss run or anything like that. I didn't want to put that kind of time into figuring things out in original. And for this, the purposes of doing a guide video, that's not practical anyway. Like the important thing is just seeing the method so that you have something to work with. So you you may see like jumps, like editing jumps here and there in between stages or specific things like that but what I do is I always adjust the rank and the, the bomb count and life count um, energy gauge like all that stuff so that you're seeing what it would look like if it was a solid run so we're coming up to the mid boss I think there's one section I... S yeah, there's one, at least one section here. So for the most part, you can uh, just drop down slowly like this. Just simple tap dodging. This is not threatening stuff at all. Um, and then, of course, this part will do five bursts like that. 
and then I'm slowing down the next attack because it'll come out with like a bunch of lines. It's pretty slow, um, but I wanted to showcase you count like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the attack slightly drops. So you do need to pay attention to when it drops because you do need to either be tapping up or down depending on your positioning and how you want to avoid that. But it's not just straight lines. It does change partway through. So you really got to be careful for that kind of stuff. And then you just clean up. <clears throat> Always prioritize position stuff, like being in, being exactly where you want to be so that you can start attacking the big enemies pretty much as early as possible. Uh, just for, for two reasons, two main reasons anyway. There are other ones, but I won't get into that right now. Uh, the two main reasons are you speed kill it, and also, if you're banking on a bullet cancel, you're going to get that before the screen gets too crazy. And we're coming up on the stage two boss. So there are a couple of slow sections. Notice how the rank is still at zero, so everything is going... All the enemy projectiles are coming at you at the slowest possible speed. So for this, you just drop down like that, and then you just tap up a little bit. Three or four times, whatever it is. For this, when... So this is slowed down. Um, you wait for hearing... You wait to hear the shot, those purple, pinkish colored shots. Once you know they have finished firing, you can switch your position because uh, it's targeted your spot already and you can kind of just like move in between. For this next attack, I realize I'm kind of already behind. You can kind of just like back away and then go below it. And then for this, you're just tapping up a little bit and avoiding things. It may look crazy, but it's there's really nothing happening here. It's just coming at a single location and you're just avoiding that location by tap dodging, so you're good. Uh, for this next attack, if you do accumulate rank before this point, uh, things will be faster and way more crazy. Um, so it's actually way, way more manageable when rank is at zero. Uh, but it's still something you can easily fumble, so just be very careful. Or, like I said before, hyper, bomb, whatever you want to do just to get through that last attack, because it is a very unusual type of attack. And that ra uh, wraps up stage two. Okay, so here we are in stage three. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, it, of course, you'll need to memorize where these swarms of enemies show up, and you can approach this however you want. It's pretty straightforward, but it's a great opportunity to just soak up metals and uh, fill your gauge as much as possible. You can technically just hold the focus shot straight upwards and move over. I just like being in the habit of um, doing it without so that I can capitalize on the, the gauge filling uh, metals. Uh, being bigger than the tiny ones that barely fill. Uh, same thing with this part. You can f hyper here if you want. You can do whatever you want. I do this part differently in expert mode, or at least this one section here. But then, uh, yeah, when it comes up to this part, I will specify that you drop down. You kind of want to just, like, lure the shots down to give yourself a gap up and then stay on those pods for as long as possible just to get rid of as many and then just kind of work your way up like that. And then it's just a, a simple matter of up, or up, down, up, whatever, uh, back and forth. You don't have to do it exactly this way. I just like to do it this way. And then you just go like this. Now, of course, again, in Expert, I do this very differently. So this is kind of just what I slapped together for uh, this original mode guide. But as you can see, you don't have to be bombing or anything like that for that part. So for this next part, I wanted to really slow this down just to showcase there will be this group of enemies coming from the top right, and that's why you want to angle it up there. So what you're doing is you're avoiding two attacks simultaneously. You're moving backwards away from the blue shots from the big medium-sized enemy while moving away from where the tiny guys were targeting you. 
and so by the time you're finished their shots are traveling down on that angle and you're you're good to just continue fighting this guy and then this is just simple tap dodging here and there to get through that you don't have to hyper but if you want to go for it whatever it's going to take to get through there and then just get rid of that guy here's another thing where like in expert mode i do this part very very differently but you can do what i do in there or you can do what you're seeing right here either works and it's just fine just always make sure that part wasn't done the, the best but um it's the same sort of idea be sure to yeah be sure to check out like just my other methods when and, uh, i get my expert mode stuff put together and out and all that but whatever so here same thing up down up down or whatever and then you go down here and then you just same thing you don't want to go too high too quickly because then you're kind of blocking off the free space at the top half of the screen but then the same thing you're just kind of like inching down uh, until this attack finishes and then you want to get all the way straight up to the very corner and you will not get hit here i have never once experienced that uh so or rather like the times where i have it's because i was not positioned perfectly um, but it's literally just like right into the corner and then same thing just back up away from this those things cross over as you just m make your way through and then this is where you can hyper because it, it will get pretty actually no we don't oh yeah we do okay never mind it just took a little longer to do it this time <clears throat> but yeah then you just go through there um, I don't destroy these things right away uh, like when you're still in your hyper state because I want to save stuff so that I can actually build a bit of gauge before getting to the boss. So here we are. So we start off with kind of just like a up and down sort of thing to avoid. This is a great time to refill. So just like be point blanking as much as possible if you are lower gauge at this point. And then just go back like that. And then just tapping down. You don't want to flail around because it's going to spread that all over the place and you don't want that. Now, for whatever reason, I did hyper here. After this uh, fight, I will show an alternate version where there's like none of that. Until like very... Oh yeah, and I slowed that down. I think um, just to... Yeah, show the timing so that you get that full recharge for the gauge right at that moment so be sure to check that part out again because you'll see like where the boss's health is right before it that next phase uh ends you don't have to do it this way um this is one of the the ways i just kind of revert uh resorted to for my expert mode and i just happened to do that for here but that's part of why i went back and did a another take just to show you an alternate approach but either way, even if you are like using those spots to activate your your hyper, like the the rank isn't high whatsoever. Like it's only sitting at four, five now. Um, so yeah, it really isn't a big deal. <clears throat> but yeah, what I wanted to uh, finish saying about the the bomb section for that second mid boss in the top left corner. Um, sometimes if you don't get up there fast enough, you'll clip one of the bullets as you are getting into the corner. Um, but as long as you are in that position before, uh, then you will not get hit. If you are being hit, you are not in that proper position. So you'll need to just like really make sure you have the timing down for that. Um, and you might fumble it here and there sometimes, but that's just part of, yeah, getting into the flow of what you need to do, which is 100% what this game is all about. And it's amazing. So anyway, here we are with the alternate approach uh, most of this is the the same as what we just saw but there will be some some differences here and there which i will point out i love this boss fight it's so wicked it definitely pays to be as close to bosses as possible for as long as possible just to get that health down super quick and then just avoid that shot so I think I slow down a section coming up 
Um, when you're moving backwards with the blue shots, it will feel as though they're moving slower. They're not actually, of course, but it just kind of gives you that um, sense of like, oh, okay, it's more controllable, more manageable, and it allows you time to kind of um, spot the gaps that you can just drop down into. And this way, you are constantly keeping your like both streams of uh, damage on the boss. And that's a very fast and efficient way. Another thing you can do is just circle when he's doing the pinwheel attack. You can just circle in the safe, like the the wide safe spots. And it, it will take a little bit longer, but you can just circle with that attack and you'll come through it just fine. And then for this, um, yeah, just don't flail too much. It kind of targets you slow and just does like a, a big spread. So you don't want to go too crazy with that. Uh, but this is an ideal way to end because, like, we're going to be starting stage four. Uh, I'm not sure if I actually do that for, like, the start of the stage. But if you're in this situation, you are ready to activate your second layer of the gauge anytime at the start of stage four, which is pretty bonkers, okay? So anyway, let's jump into stage four in just a second. But yeah, there's quite a bit to this level, but it's it's good stuff. All right, so here we are. This is a pretty messy, uh, well, rather frantic. Um, like, there's just a lot happening right from the get-go. So it's more or less however you want to tackle it, but I always like getting rid of those three green dudes uh, and then just staying on the top of the tanks uh, that are at the bottom and the top. And then just do this guy, get that bullet cancel, fill up your gauge, take out those two red things. You'll pretty much always have, as long as you are timing it, you'll always have time to take that red tank out and uh, capitalize on the bullet campel, uh, bullet campel, bullet cancel uh, from that. And then it's just a, a simple matter of doing this stuff, cleaning up two red guys, those tanks at the top, two more red filter in, and then you go up here, <clears throat> get rid of that turret. And then you have like a cluster of dudes coming from the back. And then I slow down this part, make sure the turret fires down, or yeah, and then up. You want to be lower to lure the, f the first shot down and then go up so that you have like a, a nice safe uh, place to go down in between the two attacks that it does. And then I just go up angle it like that for these dudes and then take care of that guy. This will feel like a pretty wild stage at first. These things on the railings, there are always four at a time. So make sure you've, you've taken out four. Otherwise you might, you might think you've taken out like just four, but there, it might have only been three. And then just angle like that. Stay angled for those two green dudes and then take f these four dudes out. And uh, this is probably... Yeah, it's a pretty wild, pretty wild stage. It's one of the harder stages, um, or at least this part specifically. I think, like, in my mind anyway, like, I'm always striving for, uh, like, no bomb, no miss as much as possible. The reason I bomb here is because I want to make sure I have enough time to soak up gold to have a full gauge for the mid boss that we're about to come up to. But yeah, on expert that that shaft can be nasty at times. So just drop down just a touch. You don't have to move. Drop down. Don't have to move. Drop down. So it does five attacks. For this, I slowed this down. You don't want you want to more or less be in this general area to lure that attack into the corner, and then this one so that it ends right about there and the next one shoots more or less straight down and it leaves that little passage to go through and then you're just tapping up a little bit and forward to avoid the last two bursts. Um, and it, it's a great time to just soak up metals too if you need to. This you just avoid it however you want and then hyper here and then hyper again just to finish that guy off to get the bullet cancel and then just dodge the last one or two attacks depending on how the fight goes for you. At all costs, you do not want to bomb or take a hit with bombs in stock and then end up auto-bombing because you will not get the one up. It doesn't matter if you lose a life because you have no bombs going into the thing, but you just do not want to trigger any bombs during that fight. So we have these dudes coming from behind. <clears throat> now one thing I will say is, as tempting as it might be to soak up as m many metals as possible when you have just activated your thing so that you have like a longer second layer when you do activate that second stage of the hyper um you don't really want to do that too much here you always want to give yourself opportunity to fill up so do as much as you can without 
activating um, because that way you'll just keep the rank lower. But there are times I'll point out very soon where you'll, like right here, um, you could soak up a lot more, but right now I'm pretty much, I think it's like right, yeah, right there. So you're not staying in long at all. And boom, because you time it that way, you have a full gauge at the ready um, instantaneously, which is awesome. And then angle up for the yellow tanks that you don't really see yet. And then we have this guy here. Pretty simple stuff, and then just kind of like dodge your way through that. <clears throat> you don't, you want to more or less be like up so that you can drop out of the way of the dudes swarming from behind and then just hyper this again don't stay in too long give yourself the opportunity to actually soak up some metals uh, since we're about to go into the final boss or the, the, the stage end boss fight <coughs> you can do this however you want but I just like doing it this way and this is a great time to also get more metals as long as you kind of budget metals a certain way you will have enough going in. I think I fumbled something in the fight, so I just, you, you saw that like edit jump there, and that's why we're here, but for the most part, this first attack, you'll have like three bursts, so that's the one, this one's two, and then this third attack right there. So it gives you time to soak up some metals and get a full gauge. And then just uh, avoid this as best you can. This will certainly take some getting used to. And then drop into one of those gaps, and then you can just hyper here, or whatever you want to do. That's usually when I do it, and again if necessary. This is another attack which will certainly take some figuring out, and on Expert I even still fumble it, because like sometimes the rank is just so high, everything is so fast, and it's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, so yeah, again, you can just like hyper... You feel free to use as many bombs as you need to here because this is probably one of the most nasty boss fights in the game to be honest the second half bosses like whereas you can pretty much no bomb no miss no hyper uh stages one two and three easily um things really do ramp up in stages four five and six so this is the last attack it's not going to do anything else so all you have to do is kind of weave through these different uh, lines of bullets that are coming at you. Um, you really do need to watch out for how the ship kind of just like moves around s slightly here and there because sometimes you'll be close for point blank um, like damage, but you'll it'll just like kind of nudge itself into you and boom, there go your bombs or there goes a life that you didn't even realize was like a big threat. So anyway, that's stage four. Let's just jump right into stage five. So stage five is starting off in slow motion. Uh, you get rid of that group and then watch out for that group. So that's how I tackle it. Um, there are probably way better ways, but that's just how I know it from doing expert mode. And so that's just what I've applied here. And then for the most part, you can pretty much safely deal with this because it's not like so crazy especially because rank is still relatively low and then there's just this group once those guys are out of the way these red guys drop down pretty much instantaneously so you gotta just watch out for that but then I take out this row of blue dudes I don't attempt to do the whole row of the next blue um, it's more about just not getting hit and then yeah just deal with this normally so activate that. <clears throat> you don't necessarily want to wait too long because, again, you want to make sure you get like a full recharge or close to it so that this swarm of dudes fills you up because you're going to want a full gauge for the parts coming up. Or at least, again, like it's my expert mode approach that I'm kind of just throwing into the mix here um, instead of like taking tons of time to figure out like the most optimal Mo uh, way to tackle original. So anyway, that's how you time your your stuff for that, like the first and then the second activation. And here we are at the mid boss. So you can you can pass through those, but if like this is typically when I use a bomb in this stage in expert. So it's just the time I'm using it here too. And then you just inch over to the front, lure those shots away, and then. This is one instance where, from what I can tell, you cannot get away with the safe spot that I used in expert mode. 
So th that's why I'm actually dodging this. Whereas normally you would just be able to stay right in the middle left side. If you kill it fast enough, then these green ships will show up. But immediately after, those red dudes will show up no matter what. <clears throat> so just watch for that. So I just go into the corner, activate that. And then I will activate it again, usually around there, and just clean up these blue ships pretty quickly. And then you want to get to about here, you're going to want to start filling up your gauge, so we're not using focus shot, of course, we're just, like, yeah, the, the loose fire, like, whatever it's called. And then just kind of, like, inch over like this. I think I call it the, like, just open fire because it's just, like, everything's open. You're not locking anything into, like, the focus shot. And then, yeah, just angle things as you saw. And then just stay in the corner uh, and, and don't start moving up until you need to. Because I fumbled my angling with the shot, some of those uh, were kind of close coming down at me. But whatever, we still made it through. Um, now, for this part specifically, the moment those rings are about to touch you, that's when you activate it. And the moment you can, like, the earliest you can possibly do your second activation, that's when you want to fire that off to get a full... And you you want to back up a little bit, too, to ensure that you get a full gauge. <clears throat> and the moment you can start... And the moment you're starting to damage it, that's when you want to activate your thing. And then it's just simple tapping to avoid the pink shots and moving around like that. And then activate it again. And that way you're pretty much going to have a full gauge or close to it. So that by the time this attack finishes, you will have a full gauge again. Which you definitely want. And all, this, all you're doing for this is tapping up. And it's simple stuff. Just tap dodging. And then just kind of lead it back in a way, down, activate. Go as long as you can, of course, but then activate, and boom, we've cleared that whole attack, which is a pretty nasty one otherwise. Again, if you need to bomb here, like, just go for it. It's not worth losing all your bombs because you just make, like, take a silly hit or whatever. <clears throat> But this is more or less a, a fine time to just like soak up uh, like metals for charging if you need to. But I generally activate around there. And then again right there. And then pretty much right as they do that you can kind of position yourself in between one of these. Uh, and then just start circling around. This can take some getting used to like a lot of things in this game. So it might feel like a really clunky way at first but it's yeah it works and it's incredible when you just get used to it and here we are at the the final so i lead him up to the corner first and then i back away when things start coming at you you kind of just do that activation get as much of that damage on as possible but then just bomb because it's not worth again it's not worth losing resources and it, it is a very, very nasty fight. And then just put yourself in the corner to clean up, and boom, you're done already. And with that, uh, yeah, so we just have one stage left and the final boss, of course. So, yeah, if things are making sense so far, then you're going to be well on your way. Okay, so for stage six, I kind of just inched down. Again, this is just an expert mode um, thing that I put together, so I'm using the same thing here. There are probably better ways to go about it, but um, yeah, it's a pretty pretty consistent thing for me. Take out the blue tanks and then those two dudes, and then there are yellow tanks, which we just took out, but keep the damage on the red, of course, and then you'll be full, full gauge for activating right around there. Take out that big guy, these two, and then get right on the turret. And then as soon as it goes, get right on this turret. Now I'm slowing this down. You'll get the bullet cancel, and then you aim right behind you to get rid of that guy. And then angle it and dr hold that angle while you drag back to deal with the yellow tanks. And then take out that guy in the corner. And then activate right about there for your second activation. And that takes out that guy. And then you just angle back and deal with those little dudes. And then, you, of course, you have like enough to take out that guy pretty quickly. I slowed this down. Um, you don't have... Uh, 
you want to wait a little bit until you're closer to running out to ensure that you soak up those big metals. In expert mode, it's no issue to just take it out right away, but uh, you really got to watch that in here because there's just less um, earning potential uh, by comparison. Um, you'll know what I mean if you've, you you kind of like sample both modes. For this, what I do is I wait until the second cluster hits me, like the, the second set of pink uh, and blue, and then I activate it, and then I move forward, and as soon as it, that next group is about to hit me, that's when I hit the second activation, and then it's just a simple like matter of up and down dodging for a little bit. Uh, for this part, uh, again, same thing, it's just how I do it in Expert, so that's what we're doing here. Um, so feel free to experiment uh, and figure out something else if, if you want to. There are definitely lots of ways. But I just circle around like this. You might need to like let go of focus shot and speed up a little bit if you're not going to like make it. And then I activ activate around there and then there. Uh, now for this next attack, you can kind of just like, you could technically go from top to bottom or vice versa. Or you can go back and forth like this. As long as you're luring the shots away and just making slight adjustments so that you have space to get through. And before you know it, you'll be done that guy. You want to get as much of that gold as possible because we're going to want a full gauge very soon. We got three of these guys coming down. And then don't use focus shot for these dudes unless you act like really need to. Just, yeah, have open fire um, and just soak up again as much metal. Take out those two green guys, get into the corner and then activate it right about there and then start moving up. Get rid of that ship with the bomb and then activate again. Uh, again, you don't want to be in the activation for too long because you want to be uh, soaking up very quickly and as much as possible. Um, ideally, I would have more here and that's why I'm not using any focus shot here because I'm just lapping up as much as I can from that last little wave. Um, so it's, it's actually risky. Again, like in expert mode, I would have been charged ages ago. Um, but here, uh, we were starting this boss fight. Um, but yeah, pay attention to like when I use the activations just to like deal with that. And then for this, it's either just four or so, like three or four little taps up or down to avoid that attack. And then you just put yourself right under here and clean up. You're, you're never going to get hit, hit. I sometimes go here just to make sure I can soak up as much of this instead of like racing to it and then just get on this guy and then just get on that wave that's coming here make sure you're coming this way sometimes you don't necessarily want to be all the way into the corner sometimes you will get hit uh it's just a risk i i currently run um, until i figure something else out but then i angle down to get rid of the rail dudes and then i activate um a little later than in expert mode but right around there and then i deal with that stuff that blue guy, that blue guy, angle it down again for the rail enemies. The moment that blue ship blows up, that's when you activate because you don't want to risk getting hit. And then drop to the corner, deal with that stuff, and then start moving forward. So these four rail enemies, and then that thing, and then just soak up the gold. Again, like right now, I'd probably be a full gauge. So you just really got to watch that, um, if I were in expert mode, that is. Um, so you really got to watch that stuff. But use your invincibility moments when you activate to get, kind of get into position. And then for here in this bottom corner, I just prioritize the blue tanks and the yellow tanks by staying at the bottom. But very quickly, we're going to be here with those turrets and the red tank. If you got a bomb, just bomb. Because there are guys coming from behind. And then this big ship, those things take a while to take out uh, normally. Like if you don't have like a bomb going off. Uh, so you got to be careful. Then there's another one in this corner. And there's a lot going on in this stage. And yeah, so these yellow tanks coming down are going to come down pretty much the whole time. So take out the blue tanks, uh, keep stuff going straight up for the yellow tanks, and then get ready for uh, this intense part. Uh, use the bullet cancels and the f like you're going to be firing off your gauge as often as it, it's pretty much ready because of how crazy that part is with all the, the turrets and the big enemies coming from behind. And then just uh, bomb here if you if you aren't ready to use a hyper yet. And I think because I wasn't ready again um, for this part, uh, I just used another bomb because it's a uh, yeah, it's just a big nasty uh, enemy. 
And then we got these green dudes, and then we got two more of these big ships. So thankfully I had a, a gauge there, so I just used it. And then again. I was like way too full, but whatever. Here we are at the final boss. So you will see a bit of an edit jump there. So the main source is at the top and it spreads out. So the safest place to be is like the bottom corner for the most part. Um, I sometimes do it at the top because then like things are just straight on. Uh, and it's just easier, but bomb when you need to. Use your invincibility to kind of clear as much of that as possible, and then just weave through as best you can. If you take a hit, you take a hit, whatever. But just use your gauge as often as you need to, and yeah. For this attack specifically, um, it's not as crazy as it looks, and there is a slowdown at times, just because of everything that's going on, I suppose. Um, so yeah, just ride it out as long as you feel comfortable, but then bomb if you need to. For this, it's just a tap down, and that was just a, a silly fumble. This is a very simple uh, part of the fight. It's kind of just like, okay, you know the blue shots are like timed, and then it's just a matter of going through the safe gaps, which you can more or less read easily enough because of the shape of the, the pink patterns. Um, but it can still get pretty intense depending on how what the rank level is sitting at. And then for this part, ideally, I I, I, I recorded this a uh, number of days ago, so I, I'm not sure if I actually make it through this. I think I was like so close to having a full gauge, but it just I, I was backed too far away uh, because it just got crazy. Yeah, there we go. We took a hit. But at least we have a full gauge for that attack and this. And then you just line up in between one of those rows. And then, uh, yeah, for this, this can be pretty crazy. Like, I don't really have a method put together yet, uh, for expert anyway. Um, so just bomb if you need to. Um, just make quick work of it. Or hyper gauge, whatever. Um, but it's not as crazy as it looks there there are times where i, I do just fine kind of like weaving around and stuff like that but it, yeah it just takes some getting used to and then of course here's the final attack so this is where you're probably going to want bombs and hypering uh so just yeah do that and get it nice get in nice and close just take care of that and before you know it you are going to be done you will have cleared rolling gunner original congratulations you did it Amazing. Now, of course, there's no TLB uh, because this was segmented. I'm not even... I don't recall what uh, what rank you would need to have in an actual run to trigger the TLB. Uh, and I'm not sure if that changes depending on the difficulty mode. I would need to look into that, actually. But this was... This guide was not for doing the TLB. It's just going for the 1cc. Um... So that's, like, if you want to do the TLB, then that's something you're going to need to work toward. Uh, that's what I'm working toward for expert mode. Uh, just kind of, like, gradually chipping away at that and improving. Um, but that's, like, a more long-term goal, not something I'm, like, attempting to nail in the next two days or anything like that. Because it's going to take a lot of work, I feel. Based on, like, how I love pushing the rank as high as I can, more or less. Uh, within reason, of course, but... Yeah, I just love playing a certain way in Expert, and that's just uh, what I find the most fun. But of course, it means it's pretty intense pretty quickly. So yeah, anyway, that is the guide. Let me know what you think um, in the comments, like if either, if this really helped you or feels like it gives you a better handle on certain things you were struggling with uh, or whatever else. Uh, but yeah, thank you again for being here. If I didn't say that already i really appreciate everybody who swings by and comments and shares and just enjoys the things that uh, we've got going on here so have a solid day enjoy rolling gunner i absolutely love this game this is one of my favorite shmups of all time um, in terms of modern shmups it probably is my favorite like I'm, i don't think anything else really um engages me 
uh, in the same ways and on the same level that Rolling Gunner, specifically Expert Mode, uh, does. Uh, there's just something so incredible about this game, and I absolutely love it. And, uh, yeah, I'm trusting I have helped uh, a little bit with uh, this guide. So, yeah, anyway, have a great one, and we will see you next time. Thanks again.